hello guys welcome back to another video so today i've got for you this absolutely gorgeous mercedes-benz b-class now as always i'm going to do a quick walk around just so you can see the condition of the car and then we're going to jump inside and i'm going to show you the interior and all its features now this particular car comes with the registration number bt11 yfr it is a mercedes-benz b180 sport cdi um, it is an mpv um, it has a 2-liter diesel engine. It puts out 107 brake horsepower. And it was first registered on the 27th of May, 2011. Um, it's got a valid MOT until the 10th of April, 2025. So it's literally just been MOT'd and it passed without any advisories whatsoever. And it has an annual road tax of only £190 for the year so it's not bad at all considering the size of the car um, insurance it sits in the insurance group 16e so it's very low in the insurance as well and in terms of co2 output it puts out 139 grams per kilometer and fuel economy you can expect to get around 42 miles per gallon um, around town and 62 miles per gallon on a motorway run with a combined uh, economy of 53 miles per gallon Performance, you're looking at 114 miles per hour, which obviously I never recommend, but it's there if you need it. And it has a not to 60 time of 11.3 seconds. So obviously not the fastest thing out there, but then again, it's an MPV, it's a family car. It's not a sports car. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it in terms of details. Um, the car has just been serviced as well. Like I said, it's just passed its MOT with flying colors, no advisories whatsoever comes with these absolutely lovely AMG um, alloys as well and the bodywork is in absolutely perfect condition there's there's no dents or scratches or anything that I could have seen on there um, starting with the passenger side so you've got um, your electric windows here it's got a very soft material here um, I think mean, you can tell it's a Mercedes that definitely uh, didn't cheap out on uh, the build quality um, we've got a big storage here with a bottle holder there we've got a speaker on the bottom of the door there again at the top here you've got very soft touch material it, I don't know if it's plastic but it's, um, it's, uh, it's soft to the touch you can probably see going in um, over here, you've got a large glove box with a CD um, storage facility if you want to listen to your CDs. And uh, it is a cooled glove box as well, so you can twist that little wheel and it'll keep the glove box cool inside so you can put a drink or a sandwich or something like that and it'll keep your um, drinks and food cold. And then at the top there you've got a um, auxiliary port as well and the glove box has some felt on, in here as well so it will stop um, things rattling around uh, in the in the glove box and then over here you've got a pen holder as well I think these are coin holders but I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't know exactly what these are used for but they're here you can probably find a use for them um, the seats are in absolutely lovely condition there's no tears or rips or anything like that on here. Um, it's just fluff. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, there it is. Um, that's just my microphone. Don't worry about that. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's in absolutely lovely condition. You've got some more storage there if you want to keep some small items. And this is where you adjust the height of the um, seat. Um, well, actually, this is where you adjust just the front part of the height of the seat. This is where you adjust the whole height of the seat as well. That's where you adjust the backrest and that lever there is to move the seat back and forth. Um, moving over to the rear. Um, plenty, plenty of space in there. And as you can see, you do have lumbar support for the driver as well. Um, this is your... Um, switch for the window and again um, same material moves over to to the rear as well absolutely lovely and you've got a cup holder in there as well 
or a bottle holder rather. <clears throat> it is a bit strange that you don't have like a, you know how those seats have those little pockets here. This one doesn't have it, but um, it's got these grooves in here, so it gives you more knee room, which makes it better. But then again, you do have. Uh, thought you did, but you don't. Oh, okay. That's strange. You don't have a. Um... Oh. I thought that would be a armrest, but it isn't. Okay. So it doesn't have an armrest in the back. That's a bit disappointing, to be honest, but obviously not the end of the world. I mean, you do have a cup holder there. Um, so, yeah. But the seats do fold down and they lie pretty much completely flat. Let me just see if I can. Well, I say pretty much. Oh, actually, wait, because if you leave it like that, it, it won't go down, which is annoying. But there is a bit of a secret to this thing, and I'll show you right now what it is. Let me put the seat back. So actually, the seat folds up just like that. See? And then with the seat folding up, you can... Put this, honestly, this is not easy to do with one hand, but you can put this down and then it does lie completely flat. That's pretty smart. There's a few other cars that do that as well. Not a lot of them, but quite a few. Um, so, yeah, that's how you uh, put the seats down. And then, oops, right, the seat belt is in my way. Let's lift this up. Put the seat back up, put the seat belt back, and then here. Oh, actually, see this little hole here? That is for the seat belt. So you left, lift the seat belt there, and you put the seat belt there, and that gives you more, um, well, makes it easier to um, lower and lift the, uh, the seat. And then this just falls back like that. So yeah, that's how you um, uh, put the rear seats down. So you have to lift that up and then the seat goes down and it lies completely flat. So that's great. All right, let's move over to, let's move over to the rear. Again, absolutely lovely condition. Um, you do have front and rear parking sensors as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And the boot is absolutely massive. You got, well, it's, a, it's an MPV, so you would expect the boot to be big. Um, you do have this parcel shelf, which you can close, and it sits in these little grooves there. But that will just keep prying eyes for, like, looking inside through your rear view, through your rear window, to see if you've got any valuable. So less risk of getting your car smashed in, I guess. Um, over here... You've got your triangle in your first aid kit. And then over to this side, um, you've got your locking wheel nut as well. And underneath, you've got your spare tire. So it does come with a spare tire, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, right. Another thing I've uh, noticed with these is that right now, the false floor is... Um, like completely flush with the with the boot um, but this if you look over there it's got a mechanism where you can actually move these this down like that and then this should go up there oh that's it there you go so that gives you more room so you're gaining all that space um obviously this is if you need more storage but if you needed to have it completely flat just lift from here pull and then that goes up like that and i'll just go down. oh no wait sorry didn't do it there we go that's it and now it's it lies Completely flush with the with the rest of the boot. Again, pretty smart, really smart. And yeah, the 
like I said, the bodywork is absolutely lovely. No cracks or dents or dings or anything like that. Again, we have these AMG alloys, which are absolutely lovely. And moving over to this side, it's exactly the same thing. So this seat just lifts forward. Now that seat is all the way at the back and honestly, you wouldn't be able to drive. It's, it's way too far from the pedals. So um, yeah, you would never sit with a seat that much um, at the back. Uh, right. Moving over to the driver's side. So over here, you've got controls for all four windows. This is for your um, mirrors. This is to fold out, fold in the mirrors, and this is where you adjust the mirrors as well. This is to lock and unlock the doors. And other than that, it's exactly the same as the passenger. Oh, that thing is trying to fly away. That's a bit windy. Um, so again, plenty of storage here, and you've got a bottle holder in there as well. And now, same height adjustments for the driver as well. And over here, you've got control for your lights. So they do have automatic lights as well. So you can switch this to auto and then the, the car will turn the high beams and the low beams whenever it deems it, it's right. So you don't have to worry about that. And obviously you've got front and rear fog lights. This is where you adjust the height of the um, headlights as well. That's just your key port and it does come with two keys as well, standard Mercedes keys. And let's just jump inside. So look, right now I'm sat in the seat as f the, as far as it goes at the back. And my foot, like fully extended, I can't press the clutch all the way down. And it's fully extended, so you can't, honestly, <laughs> you can't, you can't drive with a seat like this. It's, it's, it's impossible. Um, <clears throat> Right, let's um, let's start with the um, steering wheel. So over here, you've got controls for that screen there. Um, and this is for your phone to answer or reject a call and for your volume up and down. And let's just start the car as well. So key goes into the ignition. And all the lights come on as they should. And the car starts straight away. No issues whatsoever. Let's just turn the radio off now because I don't want YouTube to strike my video. Um, right, so as you can see, there's no lights in the dash whatsoever. Um, there's absolutely no faults with the car. It drives absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's covered only 82,681 miles. So that's very low mileage, especially for a diesel engine. Um, these could go for hundreds, hundreds, thousands of miles. Um, obviously with the proper maintenance. Um, that's a fuel cap, fuel gauge rather. Let me show you an, an interesting thing. I probably mentioned this before, but if you're ever in a car, you probably know this as well, but if you don't, here's a fun fact for you. Uh, if you're ever in a car and you don't know uh, which side your fuel cap is uh, to refuel, if you look in the, at the fuel gauge, you will see this little pump with a little arrow pointing towards the right. So that basically means that the fuel gauge is on the right of the car. There it is. So, yeah, if you would have pointed to the left, that means that it would have been on the left side of the car. So you don't have to get out of the car and run around uh, trying to find the fuel cap. Um, so you know where to refuel. You just look in there, you see what that little arrow is, and that's where fuel cap is and another thing is if some cars don't have that little arrow then the actual hose of the fuel pump is going to be on the side of where the fuel cap is so right now the hose you can see it's on the right side but there, you also have an arrow if the arrow wasn't there you would still know it's on the right side because the hose was on the right side as well so yeah that's um that's another thing to bear in mind um cool Moving over to the center console, so you've got your, uh, you've got two air vents on each side here with the hazard lights in the middle, and then down here you've got your um, radio. So 
press on to turn it on, Mercedes Benz. Okay. So yeah, that works absolutely fine. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave it running because I don't want YouTube to strike the video, but um, yeah, the radio works absolutely fine. And obviously you've got Bluetooth to your phone as well. So yeah, everything works exactly as it should. Let's turn that off for now. Um, over here, you've got your climate control. So you've got a fan on five speeds. And uh, from the first knob, you can select the temperature. This is the speed of the fan. And that is where you want the air to come out from this one here. Um, and then you've got uh, recirculate, uh, rear window defrost and AC. And moving down here, you've got heated seat for both the passenger and the driver. This is for your parking sensors and this is the alarm. Uh, just shut off the alarm uh, in case your car is getting towed or something. Um, moving down here, you've got a little cubby. Um, you can probably put keys, wallets, stuff like that in there. And you've got a 12 volt socket as well. And over here, you've got a six-speed manual gearbox. Um, it's pretty strange to see a Mercedes with a manual gearbox. They're not. Um, I think a lot of people, when they bought Mercedes, they bought them with automatic gearboxes. But um, I say strange, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean a bad strange. It's just I haven't seen too many of them. Um, but they are really good the gearbox is absolutely smooth there's no issues with it whatsoever it does have a very very quirky thing that i haven't seen on any other car besides this one so i'll show you in a second what it is um so yeah you've got your six speed manual gearbox and then over here you've got a cup holder um here you've got a little bit of storage as well so a little um drawer which just pops out as soon as you press it um, you've got a good old manual handbrake and then over here you've got an armrest which doesn't actually lift up but you can push forward a little bit just like that so um, depending on your seating position um, you can have the armrests um, all the way to the back or you can just push it forward a bit and then um, it gives you more um, well um, better <sighs> better comfort let's, let's, let's use that word <laughs> um, over here you've got another little storage for a small storage which is pretty cool because you can put something in there you close this and you completely forget about it um, until you just open it and it just reveals itself again so yeah that's pretty neat um, moving over here so you've got a um, uh, this is your rear view mirror but you do have it is photochromatic or something like that which basically means that if you've got a driver behind you that's driving with their high beams on. Um, that basically means that this rear view mirror is going to dim itself, so um, it won't dazzle you basically. And then as soon as the uh, driver behind you turned its turned his high beams on or that off, or he left or anything like that, the the mirror will just come back to as it was. Um, it's hard to explain it, but it's. Um, it's trust me it's a good thing especially when you drive at night um over here you've got control for your interior lights and obviously they work absolutely fine um and that is for the rear and as you can see that one works as well i'll press it again to turn it off turn it on turn it off um okay and this is if you want the lights to come on when your uh, doors are open and this is for the main light in the middle Okay, All right. Sorry about that. Um, technical difficulties. Uh, my my microphone decided to cut off. So um, let's just resume. So um, I was just showing you the lights, that how they all work. I've already told you about the mirror over here. You've got your um, sun visor as well, and you've got a um, sunglass holder as well over there. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, the thing I wanted to show you with the gearbox. Um, let me just. Put my seat forward a bit. Oh, perfect. All right, now I can probably reach the clutch. Yes. All right, so I'm going to go through all the gears. Normally, that's what I do. I put it through all the gears just so you can hear that there's no crunches or anything like that coming from the gearbox. So um, basically, that just shows you that the clutch is absolutely fine. The gearbox is absolutely fine. There's no issues whatsoever. So full on the clutch and then first.
and the reverse this is the bit that I said is a bit quirky and um, I haven't seen on any other car so usually there's uh, I know three ways of going in reverse three maybe four um, so one of them um, obviously there is a sixth gear but usually you go towards here and towards you that's a reverse the other option is you have a little um, tab that you pull here from the bottom and then you go towards the first or like um, I think uh, BMW has it you push towards the first and then you push harder again and then it, sw it just clicks again and then you go forward to go into reverse so these are pretty much the only three ways that I know with reverse oh no wait wait tell a lie uh, there's the Volkswagen Audi ones as well which you press down on the actual uh, gear shift and then you go towards first as well so yeah four four ways I know so BMW hard to the left uh, Volkswagen Audi press on the shifter and towards the first um, Vauxhall and some other brands lift from here and towards the first and quite a big majority of them towards the right and towards you um, however on this car is completely different um, which is strange because you see reverse on here so you know it's towards the left and back but it took me a while to figure out how this works so you don't push down on the gear um, you don't push down on the uh, lever you don't go all the way hard to the left no what you do is foot on the clutch so you lift the whole gearbox the, not the whole gearbox the whole um, uh, shifter and then you go like that which I found it a bit weird I mean it's probably because this is the only car that I've ever seen it in so lift and left which is strange I, I find it strange but if you're used to it or if you think you can get used to it then there's not an issue I mean obviously I could get used to it it's just something that I haven't seen before that's it um, but yeah it's a it's a pretty quirky thing um, yeah other than that there's not much else I can uh, I can say about this car uh, let me just take this out and we're gonna drive this <sighs> Gonna drive it in there next to my uh, Audi and my Skoda Roomster. Let's just put this here. So, foot on the clutch. Drives absolutely lovely. There's no knocks or bangs or anything like that coming from underneath the car as well. <laughs> so strange. So strange. Um, all right, we're gonna park it right here next to my Skoda, and then you can see you can probably see in the mirror there. Actually, you're probably better off seeing it like that. So, as I keep backing up, you're gonna see those lights filling in, and those are your parking sensors, and at the front. They're over there. So, yeah, now you can probably see it better. There it is. Right. Um, take it out of first gear. Oop. And break up. Right. That's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, the car drives absolutely lovely. There's no issues with it whatsoever. Um, if you do have any questions, by all means, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Um, if you want to get in touch, um, you can always call me on 01684 355032 and then we can arrange a viewing and you can come and have a look at it. But in the meantime, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you sticking around for, for however long this video is, probably over 20 minutes. Um, and yeah, if you're here still till the end, then I salute you. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great day and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.